I just feel like life is too short to be involved with something that you can't enjoy. For me, it's finding those things that I'm passionate about, coming up with these crazy cool concepts and making them come to life, and then just constantly finding ways to have fun. I've been working with the women for about three years now and seeing where they started and where they're at now, there's been like a ton of growth. It was, yeah, that, you got it off. Yeah, put the foot in the... Recently, kind of leading up to Tokyo, we've been doing these like kind of smaller private sessions, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and those have been awesome. We just have a really good vibe out there. I feel like most every day we leave feeling accomplished. He just tells us to go faster. That's really all he does. Uh, Hannah, try going faster. Oh, wait, hold on, give me a second, give me a second. Go faster. Go faster. Go go higher. Yep. We're good. I did my coaching job for the entire <laughs> week. No, but he's very understanding. As a coach, he's he knows when to be serious. Obviously, um, contest time or how to get you out of your funk and how to talk you through things. But just having a normal session, he also knows how to be fun and, and how to make things interesting. Been such a, both of them, a dominant force in BMX Freestyle that it's like, um, you know, makes me a proud, proud coach moment, you know, just. What's up, I'm Ryan Nyquist, professional BMX rider, and I'm super stoked to be partnering with Bobcat and their one tough team. <laughs> partnering with Bobcat was like a dream come true. You strive to have partnerships like that because organically it just works. Hey man. Hey Ryan. What's up Mike? Mike, Mike? with Bobcat and Wilma, can right. you sir? Having good tools to help us reach that next level is so important. So when you get a partnership like that where it's like both sides benefit, that's like, that's the dream. Please tell me this is the machine that I'm going to be driving? This is the one, yes sir. Yeah. Look at this thing. It's got a bucket on front, we're going to pick up some dirt. Can I sit? Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things. Friday morning. You drop it off? I'm gonna drop it off, go over all the do's and don'ts. Man, I feel like, yeah. we're, be I feel like we're best friends right now. I do, yeah. I really do. <laughs> I can't wait to get behind the wheel of one of those things and just start like making some of these ideas come to life. Woo! What's up, buddy? Good morning, good morning. Good to see you, man. There she is. Yeah, I mean, I I'm happy to see you. But my goodness, this is a beautiful sight. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty stoked right now. <laughs> not gonna lie. Here you go, Ryan. Here's the keys. Oh my gosh, man. I'm excited. I can't wait to figure out exactly how this thing works, how to take care of it properly, and just everything that I need to know to like drive this bobcat around and have the best time ever. <laughs> I literally, the first thing I did was looked around and it's like, what could I pick up? Today is the day we are gonna build this jump. We're gonna mess around in the yard, maybe pile up a little bit on the berms. We're just gonna make the yard rideable and we're gonna catch some air. I'm 11 right now, excitement on that. <laughs> what I'm doing back here, there's, you can see there's, there's already like kind of like some mounds of dirt. Okay. So we're gonna use this to pile up some dirt that can jump on a dirt bike. Right. And I'm gonna need you on the back of the dirt bike when I get finished and you and I are gonna go tandem. <laughs> okay. Okay. We, we, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there? Yeah. Okay, all right, that's fair, that's fair. All right, let's go. My level of excitement after driving this compact tractor, it's pretty close if not equal to like landing a pretty amazing trick on my bike. Like my first really good scoop of dirt. Oh, that's a good one. And I looked over and Mike gave me a thumbs up. I was just like, dude, that was it. Like, I'm hooked. He's a rookie, but he's getting there. That was his best scoop yet right there. It's crazy how much time we saved you know, with the moving of the dirt, the packing of the dirt, the smoothing the run, like everything we did was just like multiplied probably by like 50 times speed. So I feel like a kid in a sandbox operating like a little toy one, except it's like a big one and a compact size that can pick up tons of dirt and move it around. It's you gotta be crazy not to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> 